what I do is I help people remember. Okay. Remember their power. All right. What kind of their, their power? personal power? Okay. Everybody is born with a gift. Okay. And a, with a sense of knowing. So, like a different gift. Everybody has their own. Yeah, everybody special, has unique. their own gift. We're so busy running, and in our external world, we forget about our internal world. And if you can't pay attention to your internal world, you can't find yourself, mm -hmm. and you can't find your passion, and you can't live your truest life. People need to stop. So this is partially how I help people. I help people remember. Remember what it is that they want to do? Partially what they okay. want to do, but who they are. Okay. If you don't know who you are, you won't know what you want to do. So mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a mixture of stuff. So it's remembering that we are spiritual beings. Okay. Having a human experience. Everything is an opportunity. Everything. So you're saying everything happens for a reason then? Everything happens for a reason. Somebody is sick in your family. Like badly sick. In the hospital. So okay, so how it's do an you, opportunity. How is that an opportunity, though? How would you make? Okay, how, how do would you, you how make would that, you make that an opportunity? into an opportunity or because, spin it to? The okay, positive? so for you personally, you have an opportunity to learn compassion and to know that you have limited time on Earth. Do you have a way then that people can can kind of get into that mindset Absolutely. and get away from the fact like, oh my God, my father's in the hospital, or oh my. My husband's in the hospital, or wife, or whoever. Absolutely. I can give you an example. My husband mm -hmm. died, oh my God, it's 15 years ago. Oh no. Suddenly. Now, because of what I do, yeah. I, was, I get messages from the unseen world. Let's okay. do that. Unseen world as Meaning, in, like, not that you can physically see. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so like spiritual That's world? correct. Okay. Spirit world, sure, if you want to use those words. Yeah. And I was told that he had limited time. He had heart problems, So, so you, I knew. You were told he had limited time while he was still alive. That is correct. I didn't know how much time. Okay. But I did know that, that it was however good. much it was, it had to be brilliant. Uh, I had to make it brilliant. Brilliant. Now, I could have freaked out and go, oh, don't give me this message, I don't want to hear this, this yeah. blah, 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 blah. Or I can say, thank you. I'm very grateful mm -hmm. for knowing yeah. how much, not how much time, but what I can do. Well, yeah. And I made the rest of his life even more amazing than I was already making mm. it. Yeah. Did you tell him then? Nope. So what was that like, living with that message it, and not telling him? Well, it was difficult what did you, What did you learn from that then? To keep a secret. nothing else today no categorically yes I'll put my life on it <laughs> that your thoughts create your reality and if you say but 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 and come up with excuses you're not taking no. responsibility no to take the highest level of responsibility your thoughts create Cre your, your reality, reality. Yeah. end of the story how do you suggest not like you think something, we all do it, everybody does it, and then you get something in your in your head, whether it's real or not, and it starts controlling your life. Yeah. So what what do you suggest what, then? You What's do your instant advice? Thing? Yeah. Stop. So you just you tell yourself, so, hey Katie, stop it. Like Well you can do that, but you you stop yourself. Like dead in your tracks. Okay. And just take a minute. Take a breath. Take a breath. Okay. For sure. And look around you. Thoughts that wire together. Get stronger. Get stronger, yes. And, and so the more you new, dwell on them, and the more you dwell on them, the worse the worse, the worse it, it comes. Gets. Yeah. So you want to dis, you want to start disengaging, disconnect from technology for a little bit. It can make you crazy. Oh. 
Yes. It's my biggest advice. It's actually go out in nature, go for a walk. Well, because then you're seeing real things and you're experiencing them and you're getting the energy, right? You are. From the trees, from, Absolutely. Go hug, from the I, air. I don't want to say go hug a tree, but go hug a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm crazy. <laughs> so if you have a thought that you don't like, if you're anxious about something, right. you just allow the thought to be there. Don't say, go away, go away. It, it, sometimes it works, right. but when it's really deep-seated, yeah. it won't. So let it... So just sit with it. So you sit. Okay. You just absolutely sit with it. And then I walk people through it. And they close their eyes and they, and they breathe. And I've got calming meditation music on. And then I say, okay, now bring up the thought. And they start to cry. Don't worry. Just cry. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Or, or don't cry. It doesn't matter yeah. either. Do either way, <laughs> do your thing. And then allow the thought to be there. And what happens is it starts to naturally dissipate. Oh. Uh, because you're not pushing it away you're allowing it to be there and in that allowing it goes from 200 500 50 25 10 blah 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 and you get down to and a two and a one and i said okay now bring it up again it's gone so if people want to get in touch with you and have you help them with your guidance how do they get in touch with you go to my website susanphillips.com That'd be great. And then they can get in contact. Sure. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciated this. You blew my mind with all your stories and your insights. So thank you. And I really enjoyed chatting with you. Oh, pleasure. Thank you.